Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that a new t-shirt has just been added to the Hunt & Company website. These new t-shirts that we added will also count towards the giveaway from Rally 2.0. And these t-shirts are really special and let me tell you why. As you guys know, last year Sabrina got diagnosed with brain cancer and in honor of Brain Cancer Awareness Month, which is right now the month of May, we are dropping new t-shirts and sweatshirts and we are going to be donating all the proceeds to Sabrina's Neurosurgeons Research Fund for finding a cure towards brain cancer. The t-shirt comes in gray, this pink color, and a gray hoodie sweatshirt. This is one of my most favorite designs ever, and this one is very near and dear to my heart. So if you guys have never been a customer of Hunt & Company, let this be the Kickstarter for you getting something for the first time because it goes towards an amazing cause. The links will be provided down below, and they are available for pre-order from May 1st to May 7th. All right, now enjoy today's vlog. Well, I didn't expect to get another one of these, but that just kind of happened. Uh, yeah, so picked up a new bike, but it's not for me. It's actually for Sabrina and just kind of for everyone else that's gonna be at the house. And I guess it can kind of be for me, but if you guys saw the video where I taught Sabrina how to ride on the KX65 a few days ago, I had so much fun with her. We had a blast. I don't think she'll ever be driving as hard as me or driving on the track or anything like that. We just had a really good time together. That was like a really cool experience to teach her how to do that when we just bonded a lot. But honestly, seeing her on the 65 kind of scared me a little bit. And I worried for her safety a little too much and sometimes I'm probably a little bit too overprotective of her. I actually picked up another pit bike and it's the KLX 110. This is in the pit bike world this is a usually the option people go for. It's a little bit easier to ride. It's fitted for like a larger person. It has an electric starter on it. The power band is a lot smoother. It's just all around a much easier bike to ride and it's more fitted for that like adult pit bike thing. So I got her for her. And I know it's gonna be really fun to drive around with all of our friends and all that type of stuff. I saw it today because I actually, and I know you guys in the comments are like, Tej, you already have two other bikes. Why'd you get another one? Well, so I have a KX254 stroke for those who don't know. And I actually dropped that off to get service because that bike has been sitting for so long. It's my own fault that the carburetor on that four stroke is all clogged up and it actually won't hold its idle. So it needs to get rebuilt. So I dropped it off at the local like motorcycle store. And I saw that they literally just got the 110R, which is the manual version, not the automatic version. And these things have so much more aftermarket support than the 65 does. And I love the 65, so picked up the 110 as well. I also did a little bit of splurging and I got her a helmet because I don't want her to be riding without a helmet. And I picked myself up a new helmet that fits me a little bit better. And I got some goodies and some new goggles and stuff. So we'll break into all that stuff in just a little bit. But Sabrina doesn't know I got this for her. And I actually want to surprise her with it today. She's gonna to be home in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get this bike unloaded. And I think I still have that bow that I put on Benedict's Beater's and we gave that to him. So I'm gonna to try to dig up that bow and I'm gonna put the bike on the outside here Honestly, I'll probably have to put the 65 next to it because she won't be able to tell the difference Like if she just saw that bike sitting there, she would think that's the 65 So I'll probably have to put both of them out there I'm gonna put a big bow on it and I'm gonna see what she says She's probably gonna be like why the hell did you get this for me? And if that's what she says, well everyone else is gonna ride it. I had such a fun time I can't wait. So let's get this thing unloaded start it up I'll, I'll give you guys a tour of the bike and I've got to get it ready for her So this is a 2021, so it's brand new. What's really neat about it that I know Sabrina's gonna love is one, it already has a kickstand on it. It's quite a bit heavier than the 65, but it has a remote start. So I've never had a bike that does this. Kona, what do you think, bud? You like it? I think he likes it. Yeah, he does like it. If we go like this, we're in neutral. Just like that, started. Brand new, so just like the 65, it's gotta have a break-in period. They told me about 10 hours of no more than three quarter throttle. So hopefully with everyone riding this thing, we can kind of keep it true to three quarter throttle for the first 10 hours of actually riding this thing. That's okay because the 65 still needs another full tank of gas before we are officially broken in. I'll let you guys decide which one you like more, but once you hear the 65 next to the 110, you guys need to be like, you're right, Teach. 65 is the more fun one. Definitely a little more sketchy though. If you are a stinky male or a stinky individual and you need some help or you just want some nice hygiene products, 
Listen up. Bravo Sierra makes men hygiene products that were developed and co-tested with their community of over 2,000 service members and veterans from the U.S. military. One of the coolest things about all of their stuff is because they are supported by the U.S. military, their packaging to me gives off that military vibe and everything kind of looks like an MRE bag, which I think is really cool. This one particularly is actually one of my favorites. As you guys know, we get down and dirty in here and we're always getting grimy, but I also play hockey once a week and I'm very stinky afterwards. And rather than going home smelling like crap, this is a great product that I'm actually able to use to wipe down my body if I don't have access to a shower. These are body wipes, but what makes them really awesome is the fact that they're extra thick. Now that might sound kind of silly, but oftentimes I've used other products that are body wipes and because they're so thin, they roll up and they don't really work, but the thick ones allow you to get a good wipe down and make sure you cover your whole body and it's just a lot easier to use. And it literally smells amazing. Bravo Sierra contributes 5% of all their purchases to the Department of Defense Morals, Welfare, and Recreation programs dedicated to the well-being of the active duty service members, veterans, and their families. All of the products are made in the USA to support local businesses and reduce the carbon footprint. But I think my favorite has to be this deodorant. Now let me tell you about this deodorant. It's aluminum free and baking soda free, which is just good for your body. It was named the best deodorant of 2020 by Esquire magazine. That says a lot on its own. It slides on clear and doesn't leave any stains. And the smell is literally amazing. It's like a pine and like a cedar smell. It's the best smelling deodorant I've ever had. I'm even going to put some extra on right now just because I love the smell that much. Go to bravosierra.com forward slash hunt 15 right now to pick up something for yourself. Change it up. Try something new. You will not regret it. Or click the links down below and go straight to the website and start shopping. Thank you so much for Bravo Sierra for making me feel better and for hooking the boys up watching this video with a discount code. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. Before Sabrina gets home, I'm gonna take out my new helmet and get her helmet ready. I'm also gonna stage this in a way where it will be pretty obvious that there's a new bike because sometimes Sabrina can get a little bit oblivious and she won't even really know what she's looking at, which I don't blame her, and she won't know. So she normally parks right here, so I'm probably just gonna like put him out here and then hide inside the house and film her and we'll see if she says anything. But guys, check out this new helmet I got. So this helmet is from Fly Racing now. I am a really big fan of like Troy Lee design helmets and super nice helmets, but I kind of want to find someone local that can do artwork and I want to get this like painted or something. So I just got matte black, plain and simple, super nice bucket, super light. It's a uh, Fly Racing's one of their newest ones, super dope. So we got a new bucket for me. If anyone in San Diego does helmet paintings and you wanna like help me get this thing painted and have like a Hunt & Co. like livery on it or something, hit me up because I'm, I'm looking for you. And then I got new goggies. These ones are sick. Sheesh! Oh, these ones are so dope, bro. All right, give ourselves a little goggle check here. Damn, your boy's gonna be looking good, boys! Sheesh! Safety first. I got a nice little goggle bag. That's pretty cool. Gotta throw all this in the trash before Sabrina gets home literally any minute and sees this and we're busted. And then I also got Sabrina like a super dope pair too. These are the new Racecraft 2s. Done. I'm probably gonna regret getting the mirrored lenses because they're gonna scratch super quick, but I think it'll be worth it. I think it's gonna look cool enough and it's gonna be worth it. Sabrina's gonna be here in the next five minutes. So I forgot to mention to you guys as well, Sabrina knows that I was actually at the motorcycle store today dropping off the bike to get serviced, but that's all I told her. I told her that I was just getting the bike serviced, so when she comes down, she always parks in that garage. She's gonna see two green bikes. I'm pretty sure she'll think, oh my God, he bought another one today and didn't tell me. At least that's the plan. So we're gonna go hide I think in the house and we'll film her reaction. Who knows, she might not even notice that there's another bike sitting there. I really have no idea. So I'm sitting on the other side of the window right now. We have these like blinds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys up like right here and then I'm gonna close the blinds behind you guys so she can't even see that I'm behind here and we'll see. I don't know, I'm, a, oh, ooh, I'm excited. My bet is that she's gonna come right in the house and not even look at the bikes. That, that's what I think. I don't even think she'll notice it. All right, any second, she should be coming down. Okay, here she is, here she is, here she is. Oh, she's not parking in the garage. Okay, so she's definitely gonna notice because she's not in the garage. You can't miss it, you can't miss that, there's two. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. 
She has Hilo with her, so she's probably gonna be a little preoccupied. Does she even notice? Oh, good boy, Hilo, good potty. Oh my God. She didn't even notice. She did. She didn't even. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? You didn't notice? I didn't notice what? Surprise, shoddy! I don't understand. That's what I understand. Su surprise, shoddy! Oh, I know. That's a new bike. Surprise, shoddy! Wait, what? It's not just a new bike. It's my bike? It's your bike! Congratulations, let me show you your prize. I was filming it through the window. I'm like, I don't even know if she'll notice it. I put it out on stage. I, I lost the bow that we used for Benedict's car. Let me show you. Let me show you the difference here. You, you said you were taking your bike in for a service, so okay. I thought this was both. I did take my bike in for service, but then I saw they had this 110 in stock, so I bought it. Oh my gosh. So this is pretty much, this is a better pit bike. It's oh, a lot this easier. I, this is why on the phone today when you were talking about building the track, you were like, you can get a lot more involved. I was like, mm -hmm. Well, I had so much fun with you yesterday teaching you how to ride and this one's so much easier. This is easier? It's so much, and guess what, watch this. It's automatic. Ooh, I, no no kickstart. No, ah, it's, fuck. no, it's still manual, but I'm telling you, this is so much easier than that one. And, if you don't like it, I, 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 I like it. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. And, and everyone else can use it. But I, I saw it there and I had to get it. I saw it and I was like, I have to get it. Oh, how much is this? And I also got, I got you more things. The, the party continues. Follow me this way. Follow me this way. Open the box. Oh, are these for me? Those are for you. Why do I need these? Well, I can't get you up. Is this a helmet? I don't know. Open the box and find out. I have a big head. Ow. <laughs> I think it's your size. If not, I have to return it. Is it extra large? It's an XL. <laughs> it's an XL? It is. It still might be too small, but Ooh, I think... Ooh, Matt Black! <laughs> it's Christmas. T give, it, give it a shot. Well... Oh, here. Do you want me to undo that for no, you? No, I have to learn. And I'll pull the black strap on the right. Oh, these remind me of when we, you were learning how to drift. I'm gonna get makeup on it. It's okay, it's your helmet. What if it doesn't fit? Then I'll get you a new one. It fits! Let me see. Yeah, it does fit! And look, I got you a pair of super nice goggles too. These ones are dope. Is this for dirt flying in my face? Yeah, so when, when we get the razor and stuff, because you need to wear a helmet when you're inside the razor, so I thought, regardless, I want you to have a helmet if you're gonna try to ride, and if you're gonna be in the razor, you need a helmet anyway. <laughs> surprise, Shawty! It's shiny. <laughs> it's surprise! Oh, thanks, B! I didn't think you were gonna notice. <laughs> And then you went right past it, and I was like, are you kidding me? Should I try her out? You don't need shoes. I have shoes. No, not, <laughs> never. Even riding in not long pants is sketchy. You should always be wearing pants. This one, you know how I was really scared that you were like, that throttle is really twitchy and stuff? This one is so much smoother. It's so, such a better learner's bike than the 65. But not as fast? Just as fast. So why wouldn't anyone get this one? Well, this is a four stroke, that's a two stroke. This is more- oh, A what? They're just, they're different types of motors. This one's more race oriented than this one is, but they're great. They're, 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 they're fantastic. We have matching bikes. Yay! <laughs> I want to try it. That means off. Yeah. That means on. So if you want the car to be on, okay. see the little light? Uh -huh. So it's in neutral, so all you do is just hold the yellow button. Once it's started, you don't need to hold it down. Oh, I'm supposed to know. When you start your car and it's running, do you still hold the key and do ignition? Or do you let go? Oh my gosh, I'm in first. Oh my gosh, I'm in first. Look at her go. Doesn't even need me to say anything. She still has a long way to go, but that thing is a hell of a lot easier to try to drive than that thing. Although that thing's way more fun, that thing is a lot easier off the rip. <laughs> I didn't even stall it out up there, baby! <laughs> oh boy. 
may it teach her to keep her feet up. I'm almost ready to go into second, baby. <laughs> you can go to second um, right now. All you do is you're holding in the clutch and just shift up with your foot. As you're driving, you can grab second. I'm in neutral right now? Yeah, you just clicked in. So that means if I let go of the clutch, it wouldn't stop. Yeah, but if you're not 100% sure, slowly let out on the clutch and see if the bike starts to creep forward. You're in neutral. I'm in neutral! You want to try and go around the house? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the lead. You're going to follow. Well, I got to warm up the two-stroke. <laughs> day I filmed all the 110 stuff yesterday towards the end of the day but I really meant to vlog during the day so I'm just picking it back up yo look at this caterpillar I just found oh ew, ew that thing is gross there's something I've really been looking forward to that's happening today and that is one of my friends I just met his name is Blake Wilkie some of you guys may be familiar with him he's really big in the off-roading scene he has a pretty crazy side-by-side -side that he's done ridiculous things with and one of his friends Josh is coming by the house today because they're gonna walk the land with me and we're gonna kind of lay out what the potential track that we're gonna be building which is why we have all the new dirt bikes and stuff and as we've been talking about the razors that is happening it is legitimately happening all this land down here and there's some areas over here and there's some areas around the side there is all what we're gonna be looking at today We're gonna be taking some aerial photos and doing some layout talk I don't really quite know I've never had or built a track before but these guys have so I'll introduce them to the vlog If you guys do not know them already once they get here They should be here literally any minute and it's time for us to get building I'm the farthest I've ever been down this whole entire backyard. I'm with Blake and Josh They're like kind of talking about some areas in which they they want to like build out this layout but I originally thought this wasn't gonna be like big enough I, I just didn't know how big like a razor track needed to be and they're both like tripping out they're like dude this is massive they're like you're gonna have a huge track the budget in which we originally planned has now doubled because it's just like so much land he's like you'll be able to carry speeds of 50 60 miles an hour in your razor in your backyard just for hitting jumps and whoops and kickers and stuff from right now we're gonna start in four days we have to get the permit for the water and then they gotta get water trucks they gotta get tractors and there's all these things that I don't know about and now I'm lost in this brush and if a snake comes out as I'm walking back here I'm getting ditched right now I'm gonna freaking lose it I gotta pick out all these thorns out of my socks now too I totally underestimated how much land there actually kind of was back here this thing's gonna be massive Blake was just talking he's like we could probably fit the 80 footer gap right around here the ski jump box so it's we ain't messing around baby we're gonna have <laughs> some pretty big size jumps this is crazy this is just in my backyard oh my god show him your show him your masterpiece Boom. rather than a napkin he used his sandwich box so we got the pine tree we got the freaking these are the two palm trees down there that were already coming through um, basically, we're utilizing as much of the property as we can to keep it fast paced, fun, exhilarating, and just enough sketchy. I mean, we wanted to do an 80 foot canyon jump, but we kind of see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, I, don't, I don't even know how long 80 foot. I mean, I, I don't know. That sounds sketch, but hey, I'll take your word for it. It's big enough to, it's, to it's die. doable. If it's got the Blake <laughs> stamp of approval, I can I'll hit it, it first. It, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> we'll have you test it. But this is sick. This uh, layout, this track, the features, the palm trees, the sand wash, the step ups, the bumps that my man Josh Burns, who did my pit bike track, knowing what he's capable of and what we have to work with here. Uh, it's gonna be something special. So we think it'll take like two weeks roughly, start to finish. Two weeks. I'm going week and a half. Right, That's pretty hope, quick. To split that. I'm going. I'm going a week. If we get the big tractor up here, if if he doesn't get it done in a week, I'm gonna talk. Shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm here. That's what I did on my track. I was like, I thought it was three days, bro. Day four, day five, you know, came by, but it's just because he's meticulous. Here, yeah, I like to get that final touch in and just make everything look appeasing to camera. So, yeah. and then first day everything's done, you're gonna bring the big girl out. Uh, you gotta fix it first. Megalodon, yeah. yeah. Megalodon's ready. I mean, depending on the. Level. Oh, that was the razor you blew the diff in. Yeah, I blew uh -huh. the diff in the razor, king of the hammers. So waiting on a couple parts, but I think Megalodon and maybe the class 11, the 110, the ATC 70, I mean. She's gonna bring it all. The, yeah. The 175 Enduro. Well, the well dude, I'm surprised you fit your truck and trailer at the top up there. Yeah. You could bring a lot of things here. Yeah, that trailer's big enough to bring at least a couple assets. Per, we got plenty of room to back them down the other side over there though too, so we maybe. can fit probably three or four trailers in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, your neighbors are gonna Hate <laughs> I'm about to get in the hot tub for the night, but check this out. This is something Sabrina, I think Sabrina's cleaning up some Hilo pee in there. Shout out Sabrina. This is a new house mod that we recently just did. Sabrina really wanted this. It's a hanging bed. She saw it, um, believe it or not, in Kylie Jenner's like Instagram or something. And it's ridiculous because it's actually installed on the ceiling. That fan's gonna go. So if that fan looks awkward, it's the, that's gonna leave. So it's the, it, it's just, we haven't uninstalled it yet. So it's actually like it swings and stuff. And it's like this cool like outdoor mattress. I don't know, kind of cool. And then you sit on there and you can like look over the valley. It's, I don't know. I think some, some, some of you might appreciate it. Some of you might think it's kind of weird, but I think it's actually pretty, pretty rad. Just got out of the hot tub, and before we end the video, I want to show you guys something that is available right now, and I probably started off the beginning of the video talking about this, but for me, I'm filming this days before that these are actually available, so I'm just going to geek out a little bit on this and give you guys a little more backstory. These two t-shirts mean the absolute world to me. These are so amazing. If you guys don't know, Sabrina had a brain tumor last year, and thankfully we were able to remove nearly 99% of it, but that brain tumor was cancerous. And it was a really, really, really rough time in Sabrina's life and not only mine. So as May being Brain Cancer Awareness Month, we are gonna be dropping two new t-shirts and some jet tags on the website that are dedicated just to that. Pretty straightforward, keep moving forward, which that phrase applies to everything in life. And we threw the little brain on there. So this one comes in a light pink, this one comes in gray. And not only is the shirt dedicated to Brain Cancer Awareness Month, but we are gonna be donating some of the profits to supporting the Brain Cancer Research Fund uh, here to the local San Diego like research station and they help find cures and treatments and just put more money into researching this type of cancer and that means the absolute world to us. So it's a pretty plain and simple shirt, hunting company on the front, but you get the awesome logo on the back and it even says hashtag Sabrina Strong, which I think it is so cool. And I was really, really happy that Sabrina, actually this was Sabrina's idea and she wants to help kind of fund this so I just think it's amazing and the fact that it gets donated is amazing and this design is so cool I, I really enjoy it so if you guys haven't already if you've ever thought to yourself oh I kind of want to get something but I'm not sure if I want to I want to give you guys the push to go and pick up one of these shirts not only because they're dope but also you're gonna be doing something for a great cause I hope that was a little motivation they're gonna be open from May 1st to like May 7th and they're gonna be on a pre-order so they're not gonna run out if we order if there's a, a million orders a million of them will get made I don't know. They, they're not gonna run out there's no like selling out of size if you guys want to pick them up the links are down below you can click that link you can go shop and there's a bunch of other things that are also restocked today too so one of you guys might be the winner of the car because you supported this shirt who knows these will count towards the giveaway thank you guys so much for watching today's video I will see you guys very very soon if you haven't already smash that subscribe button as it gives you guys notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.